<clears throat> Why does it always seem that the pain is always at night when you're trying to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> I mean it was a pretty good day but damn it's like when you lay down and you know now it takes a few minutes about 10 for your body to just settle down and you know the moons that are over there and my uh, great big old bloody spot right there I found out there's one under there. There. And over here. Well, all of them are pretty much cool. Except this one over here. And at first I thought maybe it's because, you know, when I get out of bed that way, right? I don't know, but I can't just keep taking... Pill after pill after pill. So I've noticed now, uh, yeah, it seems like it really takes a minute to get settled down and settled in. So therefore, it takes forever to do just one thing, just go to the bathroom and come back. I mean, damn, that's a fucking 20 minute exercise trip, you know, and I'm grateful I'm not hurting as bad as I hear other women. But it's just, it's just such a, it's a trip because I'm laying here and I'm like, if I lay here, all well, that blood is going to go to the, well, maybe it doesn't go to the bottom of my body. Maybe that's only when we're dead. It see, you know, it settles to, to your back or however you're laying. So I try to turn on my left and right sides every now and then, even though that one hurts a teeny, teeny bit. Not enough to scream. Okay, sometimes it's enough to scream about. Let me stop lying. Um, so technically, yep, it's after midnight. So today's day three. And wow, I tried to sit up. And for a minute, it felt really good sitting up. I was going to wire wrap something. And just as soon as, you know, I get my pliers and stuff out. I get my wire out. Bam. Gotta move. Okay, so I'm still setting up. Okay, fine. You know, I'm used to sitting up in bed. It's It'll be all right. Bam. Another pain just rips through you. Like some fucking, uh, what is it called? Star, uh, star. <sighs> Hold on. Wishing star. And it just rips right through you. And you're like, nothing even happened over there. What are you hurting for? You know? And I'm like, okay, well, fuck it. Let me just go back to laying, you know, at a bit of, at a bit of an angle so I can still breathe good. And, oh. <sighs> And keep it pushing. Okay, that lasts for five minutes. And you got to switch. So I'm always switching, 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 switching. Sorry. And I'm like, wow, did not expect this. <sighs> Excuse me. See, even yawning hurts. Because, again, the belly thing, you know. And then everything's attached to everything. So even your big toe hurts. If you try to swing your feet out of bed, you know, to go to the bathroom too fast, it, yeah, it's got to be about four in the morning, but I'm, I sleep with all the lights on. Okay, it's only two in the morning. I sleep with all the lights on so I don't step over all the kitty shit and break my fucking neck. Safety, you know, I'm older, so it's all about safety. But it's really interesting, right? So I'm looking down at my stomach this way, and when I'm sitting on the toilet, there's a huge crater, and this part of my stomach protrudes out like that, and so I look like a fucking volcano or something, you know, 
And then when I looked, I, I was looking down at my stomach this way, and I'm like, oh, it looks really good. It's just nice and round again. Oh, I'm not sitting up. Okay, never mind. Tasha, you got jokes. <laughs> So, just constantly moving, moving, moving. Because then I don't want to, you know, I didn't want to take a chance on having like a sore bed, bed sores and bed butt and bed whatever, you know. So, of course, we got plenty of shit over there. Covered up. Reading and food and snacks and stuff. I gotta tell you, this is one hell of an interesting experience. Grateful it's over. I'm grateful it's gonna be over. I'm grateful all that junk is out of there, not causing me any more pain, and yet learning the lesson of a little, just a little poke needle thing that they shove in your body. Wow, cause all the others, I'm just tripping all the others. They're just like, hey, you know, hey, Tosh, what's up? And then this bitch is like, ah, help me. <laughs> so I took a, a uh, gabapentin, I think. I thought gabapentin was only for arthritis. I don't know. But I don't want to take that. What's that other pill that makes me silly? Oxy cotton thing. I don't want to, I'm, you know, afraid of getting addicted to things like that. So, so far I've only taken two. I took one gabapentin, but it don't make sense to just lie here in pain and not be able to go to sleep. I know. Don't be telling me in the comments. I know. I'm just trying to bear it and live through it. So that'll be one less thing. Oh, it's so hot. That's another really amazing thing to me, how it could just be so hot. Is my stomach always hot? Maybe it is. Huh. Maybe it is always hot. I'll have to see later. I don't think so, though. Anyway. It's so funny. It's got a whole bunch of big scab shit right there. And I'm like, did they cut me that way? Because, of course, that's how the blood ran. But anyway, it's looking better and better and better. I won't show you no pictures because I'm sure most of you don't like graphic shit. Okay, that's a lie. I'm going to show you pictures because I'm taking pictures of it every day. You know, this way as well as this way. So you can see what I see and then I can see what you see. It's, it's pretty interesting. So all of this down here scab, pretty much this much has already uh, fell off. So just from here to here, my belly button's here. I don't know why there's scabby stuff way up here. Maybe they didn't wipe it clean. I mean, they could have put a gauze or something there. Anyway, <laughs> it's different, you guys. It's just different. And I expected, you know, I was feeling really good on the first day, but I forgot that shit's going to wear off. <laughs> yes, I did. So that's okay. That's okay. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I just discovered TikTok finally. It's okay. I mean, it seems like everybody's talking about the same thing. Men are talking about being for real women, and women are talking about... All the shit that they put up with from their ex-husbands. So far, it's all the same. I'm an original man. Write to me. You know, a woman is real. She has a stomach, boobs, and fat, and stretch marks. That's just life. You're beautiful kind of videos. And, I, I mean, it's already there. It's not like I chose a subject. So, of course, I choose a subject, the witches and wire wrapping. And those are kind of... Okay, speaking of... Okay, this is... Dusk Till Dawn. Will somebody explain this movie to me? Oops. Will somebody explain this movie to me? 
I'm not purposely not looking at it because I think the vampire is going to pop out right about now since it's dark time, right? I don't want to see no vampires. I just want somebody to tell me a damn story since I'm laying in bed and I could use a story. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Um, it's day three now, beginning of day three. I still haven't gone number two, but I have been eating prunes. I didn't buy no milk or magnesia shit. I just got some prunes. So hopefully that will help everything come out well. In the end. Bum bum. And it's really interesting. The all the different changes and stuff, you know, your body feels and I mean it still it feels like I'm having cramps. Light cramps, of course, because when I had a period Honey, I was having Rosemary's Baby three weeks every single month of my life until I was 45. Only difference is at 45, I was having huge king size Snickers come out of my, you know what? Yeah, blood clots. Fainting all the time, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, all these pains and shit is just so interesting seeing like even now I should have put the box in the bed so I could put my feet up you know like this and have my <laughs> sorry I'm trying not to cough and put my feet up on the box just to have something done differently you know so I'm always moving not Staying stationary. Oh. There. But the thing about putting your calf on top of your knee is it can only stay there for like one minute. So, and then I got to switch, which doesn't hurt, believe it or not. And then I'm doing my other exercises, like I'll bring my crystals to bed and I will lift my crystals. Hey, you guys think that's nothing. You try and do that a hundred times. That's a, that's a workout. No, I don't do it a hundred times. I only do it like ten times and I put it down. Um, It's different. I definitely got to say it's different. So, right now, oh, feeling pretty good on a scale of one to ten. It's only maybe a five, so... I'm not going to take any pain pills yet. When it gets to eight, then I'll take a pain pill. I know you take the pain pills so you're not discomfort. But again, I don't want to keep putting that shit in my body that could fuck up my kidneys and bladder. Right now it's fine and it's good to have something good going on in my body. <clears throat> it just feels weird when you want to cough, but that cough rips right straight through you. Like somebody took a machete and sliced you open so there's no coughing I gotta watch this during the daytime so I can understand it whatever so thank god I got princess and magic keeping me company laughing Every two hours. It's nap time right now, but Magic just woke up from his nap. So in a minute, Princess will wake up from her nap. And then they'll do the running around thing for about 30 minutes and eat and go back to sleep. <laughs> it even looks lopsided. Whew, it's hot. I wish I had one of those bars over here so you can just pull up on the bar. That would be cool. Oh well, life goes on. Anywho, there's my update for myself. A little bit of pain, not crying pain, but still can't go to sleep pain. So probably in a couple of minutes, I'm going to take me a silly pill and go back to sleep. It feels so weird. Eat, sleep, eat, sleep. Now, normally it's eat, work, sleep. 
because you know you eat something i eat something and i've pretty much reverted back to being an infant 30 minutes later if i eat too much if i just eat one bite too much i want to go straight back to sleep and i know that's not good <clears throat> but it is some good sleep anyway thanks for being here appreciate it thank you miss jerry for feeding me today thank you Colleen, for bringing the food over them tacos were so good i'm gonna eat some more um prunes right now so everything will come out good and i won't have to push too hard you know and let's just keep it pushing so i'll talk to you guys later after the sun come up probably love you bye